Hey, this is Dan Bunker with CodeCram, and this tutorial is going to cover how to replace portions of your string with other characters or substrings. The Java String class provides a few methods that you can use to replace portions of your string instance with other characters. The first method is seen here replaces a certain character with another character. So the old char is going to get replaced with the new char. So for example, you could use this to replace a space in your string with a hyphen. Sometimes you need to replace larger portions of your string than just a single character. This method will take a substring and replace it with another substring. The char sequence parameters are really just strings as the string class implements this interface. This method was introduced in the JDK 1.5 release. You can also replace the first occurrence of a matching regular expression pattern with a given string. And finally, you can replace all occurrences of a regular expression match with the new given string. If you aren't familiar with regular expressions, they are powerful matching tools that can be used on strings to find substrings in a variety of ways. RegXs, as they are often referred as, are worth spending some time investigating in depth, which I'm not going to do in this particular demo. I've jumped back over to Spring Tool Suite, and if you're following along with the demo, go ahead and get your editor ready so we're going to start off by creating a new class to hold the string replacement examples that we run through. I can do that by right clicking on the default package and just saying new Java class. And the name I'm going to give it is called string replace. I want to check the public static void main checkbox and then click finish. And we now have a new Java application class that we can run. I'll go ahead and remove this comment. The first thing we'll do is create a new string. So here I've declared a new string called S and I've set it equal to I like the color brown. This will be the string that we're going to be doing some replacing on. Essentially we're going to replace portions of this string with other portions that we give it. The first replace method that I'm going to demo is the replace where you're swapping out a single character. This line right here is replacing the lowercase l with the uppercase l. I've wrapped that in a system.out so that when we run this, it'll print out to the console. So I'll save the file. I'm going to simply just right click and say run as Java application. All right down here, you'll notice that it's replaced the L in like with an uppercase L like it was supposed to do. But you'll also notice that it replaced the L in color. So this method replaces all characters found across your entire string. What if I only wanted to replace the first L though? I can use the other replace method, which is replace first, to do that. Now this method doesn't take a single character. It takes a regular expression as the first parameter. The second parameter is the substring that I want to replace the match. So regular expressions are fairly complex. And what this is going to simply do is match any character that's L and replace it with the other character. But this only is going to match the first occurrence. So go ahead and save this and run this again. You can do that by clicking on this play button up here. This time you'll notice in the console output it says I like the color brown where the like is capitalized but the L in color is not. If I wanted to do something more complex with a regular expression, I can use the same method, the same replace first, but I can give it a more complex regular expression and the replacement. So what this is saying, this caret symbol here, is saying Starting at the beginning of the string, match anything that begins with a capital I. Since our string starts with a capital I, it should match that and replace it with U. Again, this course isn't going to go in depth on regular expressions, but this will give you an idea of how to kind of get more complex and do some fancy stuff using the replace methods. So again, I'll go ahead and run this, and hopefully our string is replaced with U at the beginning. Here it is down at the bottom. U is now replaced the I that begin our string. The other string method for replacement that we can use is the replace where it takes a string of characters instead of a single character. So this is like the first method that we've used where we replaced a single character such as the L or the uh, such as the L. This one's going to replace an entire word or a sequence of characters. So in this case we want to replace the word brown with the word red. I'll go ahead and save that and rerun the class. This last output says I like the color red in this point. So we replaced brown out of our original string. 
And finally, we can do something similar using the replace all method. And this is going to do a regular expression like the replace first does. So I can do something a little more complex with a regular expression by finding all of the white spaces and replacing them with underscores. Now one thing when you're working with regular expressions in Java, you'll notice that normally a regular expression would look like this, a forward slash s to, to match white spaces. But the forward slash in Java is a guarding character. So you can use the forward slash to guard special characters like a quote or other things inside of the string. Since the forward slash is a special character, you have to guard it with itself. So that's why you end up with two forward slashes. It is a little bit confusing, and when you're doing regular expressions in Java this way, it's not quite as clean as, say, some of the other languages out there. Go ahead and save the file, and rerun this, and all of our white spaces should be replaced with underscores. You'll notice this down here. We now have a continuous string with the spaces changed to underscores. And that's it for replacing portions of your string. This is a very powerful section of the string library, and you can do a lot with this, especially if you know regular expressions really well. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out codecram.com for more information on the Java string, as well as other tutorials and lessons.